anywhere. Stay right there. This is over 50, so what? I'm Carol. Fun, fitness, wellness and inspiration. Starting with wellness, previously we've looked at flotation therapy to help with stress, anxiety and sleep. Today, Dr. Michelle Whitewood is going to discuss how you can incorporate flotation therapy into your regular health and fitness routine. Yes, of course, we've got the five minute fitness segment and you don't need any special clothes. I could do it wearing this, you can do it with whatever you're wearing. Just join in. And lastly, I suspect there are some single people watching the show today. A lot of us over 50 find ourselves single. And Brian and I are discussing our thoughts on how you can more effectively communicate using the online platform. And also just in those initial dating conversations. So let's see how we go. Have you ever thought about including flotation therapy or floating into your regular wellness and fitness routine to enhance your overall well-being? Previously on the show, we've talked about some of the myriad benefits, your mental, mental physical and emotional health, all being benefited by flotation. And we're joined again today with Dr. Michelle Whitewood. Now, Michelle has over 25 years experience as a registered doctor in traditional Chinese medicine and based at the Water Temple Flotation Center, she's an authority on floating. Michelle, welcome back to Over 50 So What. Great to have you back here. Thanks, Carol. This is a wonderful opportunity to share flotation therapy. Now, we've talked quite a bit over the last few months about the benefits of floating, how it's really good for mental, physical and emotional health. Hmm. And it's something that really should be incorporated into an individual's overall wellness program and maybe fit in with some of the other practitioners. Can you comment on how to, you know, you might incorporate floating into your wellness routine? I can, but firstly I have to say I'm biased, so. <laughs> I, I fell in love with floating from the moment I sat in one of the tanks, so, and I do believe that it can be incorporated and to benefit of every individual, unless they've got an allergy or something, but, when you are able to relax that the system that much both physically and the brain gets time to rest then so much actually other things happen in the body and that enables the body to sort of regenerate itself and when people can start relaxing and it has a cascading effect in other areas and also it doesn't just last while you're floating. When we've talked to some people, you check in with them, it's the next day that they go, oh, I still feel really relaxed. So, you know, I approach my day different or I wake up clearer or this has happened. Then it is a worthy therapy to incorporate into your weekly, monthly lifestyle. Even though the three pillars of health are exercise, diet and sleep we exercise in various forms some do high intensity some are gym junkies some are yoga gurus people like their pilates other people are cycling I, I like swimming this actually helps with any form that you do and if you're in physical pain and you go to a physiotherapist or you go to a chiropractor or a masseur all of those things are enhanced and made easier with floating. So what are your recommendations in working in with another practitioner? Well, when I talk to other people in the street in High Street, because High Street Armadale has got a whole lot of health, big health community nowadays, then we recommend that they have a float often before their manipulation because they're more relaxed in their body and it makes it easy for the practitioner to do their adjustment or work. And if they're having sort of 
physio to repair and they're doing muscle isolation and I talk with this with Pilates instructors then it they get to focus on that area that they're in discomfort and do their exercises actually in the tank as well. Oh wow. A lot of people watching the show might have a bit of arthritis or a bit of joint pain. <laughs> Can you, yeah, so that's a common you know autoimmune disorder that a lot of people as they get older and it's happening now in younger people and that's inflammation in the body so whether it's arthritis or fibromyalgia then they're in constant pain and you it's about pain management more so in this day and age as well as looking at people's diet and what exercise is most appropriate. In terms for me, uh, what helped me a lot was getting on top of my inflammation, uh, which floating does by no gravity, um, and also helping with my sleep. When you're absorbing magnesium into the system, that also helps reduce pain and that's been Epsom salts in itself has a long history associated with pain relief and when you remove all pressure from the spine because of the weightlessness sensation then you're improving the blood flow to the extremities so all of those things contribute to reducing pain. To start off with you've recommended that a, a new person commits to like three sessions. Yeah. The benefits are an accumulation um, I think with three floats you're actually going to get a much better understanding and idea of what floating has the potential of what floating can happen to do. And you're going to feel more comfortable because you know what you're doing yeah. and it's not a strange new experience anymore and yeah. you can really fully relax into it. Hmm. And you'll get, you'll get immediate change in sleep or how you're feeling without trying to cloud or you know have expectations there you will feel relaxed, more relaxed. Is sure. there anyone who can't float? Like some people may thinking, oh, I'm a bit overweight. I uh, don't know if the magnesium is going to support me in the water. Is there anyone who can't float? The only people that wouldn't be able to float is if you're sort of like seven foot, because our tanks aren't <laughs> big. But we've got guys that are six foot eight, so they're okay. And um, with a weight, can condition then no the density of the solution and the gravity is checked basically daily so you've always got to have that density and an awareness though weight is never an issue I think if there were medical conditions that you would check in with your GP some people talk about ep epilepsy because there is the lights if they leave them on and they're like they're not flashing lights but there's that changing colouring the lights that is an option and you medicated you've got to check in with those things as you would with a swimming pool or doing hydrotherapy. And groups can come in, families can come in. It's really good to do in group groups whether it's a team for work or a family that they come in and so they all come in and float and then go off and have a meal together or throughout their day. If it's your first time you could bring a friend, you could it's beautiful to bring a friend and share. Yeah, float together and then share your experience afterwards over a coffee since you don't recommend coffee before <laughs> the float. You have the I don't reckon coffee at all. <laughs> Alright, we won't go there. <laughs> we are in Melbourne, it's coffee society. Uh, I know, and there's one there next door and there's five across the road. It's just like, ooh, which, which blend do you want? <laughs> All right, to finish off with, can you just uh, tell everyone your top tips and recommendations as to why they should start floating? Well, magnesium's got untold benefits. To be able to unplug and feel where you are in your world. And I think it's sort of like when I was swimming this morning, it, what came to me was you're reconnecting with yourself and to your own rhythm. and you have that ability to calm your own system and it's actually really comforting to be able to hear your own heartbeat and your own breathing and know that you're in control and people with anxiety they often shallow breathe they'll hear that palpitation but when you're in a tank you can actually realize that you can calm your own breathing down and you'd have a very diverse range of clients that come in totally so, so you mentioned night shift workers, you'd have executives, you'd have 
all athletes of, you know. all of that realm you know you've got retired people who are in their 80s 70s i find that when you can reduce any emotional or physical pain in someone's system then there's no downside beautiful well thanks so much for sharing your expertise with us today thank you for the opportunity Karen. i'm a floater for life Thanks for watching our TV show. Be sure to hit subscribe and then you'll never miss an episode. Jump on Facebook, join our group, get in on the fun, fitness, wellness and inspiration. I'm Carol, over 50, so what? <laughs>